Hello, I'm Mark Brooks, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm showing you how to make a, uh, it's a beef stew. Turn the camera with on it. With uh, potatoes, pinto beans, uh, uh, potatoes, carrots, broccoli, portobello mushrooms, and a, a taste of uh, saffron spice added to it. In this video, I show how you how I made it and how you can make it too. So, I'd like to let in on my secret. Well, keep on watching. First, I want to introduce the method of cooking. I'm using a one and a half quart slow cooker with three heat settings, low, high, and keep warm. Next, I've added a, a, a slow cooker liner, which uh, shown here, a real slow cooker liner, which helps save the trouble of cleaning the pot afterwards. Here, I'm going to start with uh, one half cup of pinto beans. Wash your bits, bits them. Add them to the uh, pot, and then add some water, enough to cover those beans. And we're going to allow that to soak overnight. Okay? This is the night before we cook, so just a reminder that this, we have to allow time for these beans to soak. So that, that's what we'll do uh, until uh, in the morning we'll add it. Uh, okay, today is the following morning, and now the beans have been uh, soaked overnight. Let's add the uh, Initial ingredients. We'll start with adding about a quarter cup of uh, teriyaki sauce. Right here. And about a uh, tablespoon of uh, French red hot sauce. Add a pinch of uh, minced garlic in a squeeze tube. Next, add the uh, star ingredients, some uh, saffron threads. Yeah, saffron is very expensive. It costs about eighteen dollars for this uh, size of bottle. We're just going to add uh, a few uh, th uh, threads, saffron. That pinch that size to the soup. Of course, the threads are from the uh, saffron flowers. Being a difficult as a harvest, that's the reason why uh, saffron is so expensive. We've also added some salt-free seasoning and just mixed it in. Next we're going to add a potato, a, a small sized potato, uh, peeled and sliced. And some, uh, a little bit some carrots. Then I'll add the uh, stew beef. There's about six ounces of stew beef, which is It will allow that to slow cook this whole afternoon. Put the uh, slow cooker on, uh, on, the, on the low setting. You'll know, be allowed to cook that cook most of the day. We also want to add some water to, uh, to this. Put the lid on and uh, give it the afternoon to cook. Then we'll resume with adding the other vegetables. Okay, here it's uh, it has cooked mostly in the afternoon, about six hours at least. At low heat, I've been turned on to keep warm setting. Now I'm going to add the vegetables, so broccoli and portobello mushrooms. And the reason I'm adding these vegetables later is because to minimize cooking them, you know, preserve the color, the crispness. Vitamins and enzymes that get destroyed if you if you fully cook them. So that's why I'm adding them later. We'll let it sit like that for about 30 minutes. 
and they'll be ready to serve. At last, now, it's, uh, now it is uh, serving time, so time to stir it, mix in those veggies. Get them well mixed in. And look at that, a nice looking stew ready to serve. Serve it into a bowl. And what I like to do is add some uh, uh, shredded cheese to it. It adds more flavor to it. Now we'll go ahead and taste it at last. Okay, now let's taste it. Nope. That's you now let's taste it. Mm, very good. A little hot. Yeah, it is very, very delicious. I hope you try this. Try it for yourself and see how and see what I mean. So, again, you know, please subscribe if you can. And thanks for watching.